So you're getting into 3D printing and you're ready to dive into your CAD application. But which one are you gonna choose? Well, in this video, I'm gonna go over my top five free CAD applications. Coming in at number five is OpenSCAD. OpenSCAD is a script-based CAD application, meaning that you define the objects that you want to design using a text-based editor. A few lines of code can define the object that you want to design. This makes OpenSCAD incredibly powerful and flexible. However, as a result, it suffers from being difficult to use, especially for a new person coming into CAD applications. Believe it or not, this was the first CAD application that I used when I started getting into 3D printing, and it was a bit of a trial by fire. The upside, however, is if you download an OpenSCAD file from a library such as Thingiverse or Printables, with a few updates to the code, you can change the parameters of the object to fit your requirements. Coming in at number four is SketchUp. Traditionally, SketchUp has been used in architectural design. However, some makers use SketchUp in order to design the objects that they want using multiple different interfaces, from PCs to iPads, to anything which uses a browser for that matter. At its core, SketchUp is a free product. The free product gives you access to SketchUp for the web, a mobile viewer for Android and iOS, 10 gigabytes of cloud storage, limited access to a pre-built model library, and basic import-export capabilities. There are other tiers that SketchUp offers with multiple different features for each tier. Starting at the Go platform price point of $119 per year, the Pro for $299, and Studio for $699. Coming in at number three is Tinkercad. Tinkercad is a suite of tools from Autodesk. The tools include 3D modeling using a web browser, circuit simulation, including the ability to add Arduino hardware and be able to program it, and code blocks for drag and drop programming tutorials. It's worthy noting though, however, if you write some complex Arduino code, the system can run a little bit slow especially if you're trying to use something like a NeoPixel. But with a feature-rich solution, which gives you 3D CAD, circuit simulation, and programming, Tinkercad is a solid three on my list. Coming in at number two is FreeCAD. FreeCAD is an open source CAD application available for multiple platforms, including Mac, Linux, and Windows. FreeCAD uses a sketch toolchain, meaning that you draw your object in orthographic views, and then extrude into 3D space. FreeCAD is feature rich. However, I've been using FreeCAD for just over a year or so, and I find the user interface quite cumbersome. And as a result, FreeCAD narrowly misses out on the top spot. Coming in at number one is Autodesk Fusion 360. Fusion 360 is an industry grade CAD suite of tools. Like FreeCAD, it utilizes a sketch mechanism to draw orthographic views and then extrude into 3D space. I personally favor Fusion 360 because it drives three tool chains within my workshop, 3D printing, laser cutting, and CNC. Fusion 360 can be easily used to export DXF files and create CNC toolpaths for three axis machines. Fusion 360 is not without its controversy, however. Back in 2020, Autodesk changed the licensing structure for the application. Choosing to remove the startup license, which used to allow you to use the tool for commercial purposes up to $100,000. Favoring a personal license, meaning that the tool is still freely available, however, some of the features have been limited. This includes file formats, the number of files that you can have open in the workspace, and also limitation on the CNC tools that you can drive, specifically being limited to three axis CNCs. The maker community is watching Autodesk Fusion 360 with interest to see what other changes are gonna be made in the future around the licensing and availability of the tool. Should Fusion 360 not be available in the future, I'm keeping FreeCAD in my back pocket as my backup application. So there it is, my top five free CAD applications. Post in the comments if the CAD application that you use is not in my list. If you want to know more, why not check out one of these videos just here?